I have shared with you all Literacy Center. Now I have moved on to math. Um, we actually, today is July 12th. I cleaned up literacy, I don't know, sometime last week. And um, I moved on to math. Math will most likely stay for the remainder of the month just because we have an arsenal and I'm getting ready to show you um, some ideas. Lots and lots of ideas um, so that you can get a, get a feel for how we run this and how it uh, benefits them in addition to their normal daily lessons. So, of course, like we have the daily, uh, the daily five for language, arts, and reading. We have the daily three for math. And it's math by yourself, writing math, math with someone. So, those are things that we do really on a daily basis. But, of course, when we do, um, when I set up a math center, okay. it's a lot more hands-on. And if you notice, there's no real writing required. It's all hands-on. Okay, there are a lot of things that you can, you already have. There are a lot, I'm going to show you a lot of things that you can pull together. You don't have to go out and buy them. Um, you already have them. So, hopefully, um, you all enjoy and keep watching. All right. So, first thing is tabletop pocket chart. We have math edition word problems. So, this thing is so, um, it comes in handy. I mean, we use it all the time. So... And here are the uh, word problems. I've moved them on being the twins are first grade two word problems. I've incorporated this and also into their daily lessons. They have a worksheet with word problems. So these help tremendously. And there are some on the other side. I have to do this. I stuck some crayons in the in the middle it's cleaning up but there's the rest of them okay. all right so that is the first thing word problems Whew. next I okay let me show you a little DIY we use these little um, tops from food pouches like the applesauce, um, baby foods, things like that. I have been collecting these for years and that's the, I use them for counters, for uh, especially for the little ones, color recognition, sorting, and things like that. And so um, as they get older, you know, we find more and more uses for them. But this I always keep on hand. This is our I can so they I can guess it and they want to treat the treat is a starburst or a uh, now later or something like that I would love to put the treat in here but you guys know I can't do that because <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um, it's been here and I really need to change it out. Somebody had already guessed the first, um, their first try. They, they had already guessed how many were in here. And I did make it to where they can't really count them all, but they were able to count enough to figure out how many were in there. So I switch it out. I do add different um, objects and things like that in there, you know, so that they can count. So this is a, you know very simple DIY you know whatever kind of container can jar whatever big small it works so let's see next up I will share all right part of the twins is math 
I include in their math uh, packet a supplement and they are doing um, addition and subtraction facts and um, I've also incorporated into the center so whether they do it in their packet or not it just depends on if I put it in the center that week if I think they they've mastered it in the center they understand then they won't get it in their actual um, work packet that week so there's that and I think I did the subtraction on the other side and I have all the way up to 10 so I just switch them out each day as they complete them and then they do have number lines here there are a couple of these that go up to there's actually two four total so there's two sets they go up to a hundred so the other one is kind of put away right now but um there's that to help them along with that so something they can do on their own I've taught them how to add and subtract um, on you know the number lines and on rulers and things like that so they get it uh, we are also doing money so I've given them also what would be in their work packet and this is just in a sheet protector so they can use a uh, dry erase marker and we do have money as manipulatives I didn't pull it out but we do have tons of it and we have the roll and add where you roll the die and add up the sums so they know how to put that together we also I kind of what I do is I pull out when I pull these centers together I pull out activities that I have um, either in my binder my curriculum binder things that I laminate or put in sheet protectors and things like that things that I have filed away like this I pull them out and put them in the center it's it's activity some things are new like the printables some printables but they're activities that we don't do on a daily basis so it becomes a center okay and so we have these build it mats you can cut them apart you can laminate them I choose not to um, build six add three more what's the sum and for that they use the cubes so the four-year-old I'm working with her on these no rhyme or reason I just um, remembered that I was using colored paper for uh, these type of activities so <laughs> that's why they're different colors but um, no more difficult and then I have for the little one I have a two-year-old so I have to incorporate this this is for everybody they're five four and two so those of you that have not watched any of our videos um, collage so what I do is things like when I do projects like this I save paper scraps I have a whole stash of paper scraps just for that reason you should too um, for her paper collages so she will do a number collage or everybody can do a number collage it doesn't matter I have I keep them up here if they ask then yes but mainly for the little one um, she can do her number collage <clears throat> so then I do have the flashcards these are from Saxon K I believe or Saxon 1 Saxon 1 because I'm not it's too um, easy for them for first grade I am just using the flashcards so that's where these came from so I just kind of pulled them apart and um, put them on a fastener so they can go through and do some uh, facts the ladybug mats here and there are two of them 
because we have two little little ones my four-year-old is, is I'm working her with kindergarten level so this is the shake and roll where they shake the dice and you know roll it out and same thing as the other one the the um the big kids are doing I just got the um, ladybug mats so that it would appeal to them and I also just use the um, for the older ones if they do want to use the ladybug mats they know to get the flashcards and they build using the cubes so we also have addition work mats and these are actually the twins work mats okay I don't let I don't tell them they can't use the little ones if they want to use it that's fine but these are actually for them and then I have some time write the time the hour so they use the dry erase on these and let's move it along I'm telling you guys there is a a lot in the center and like I said I don't have everything laid out every day I just pulled everything out today to film the video so that you can get a good idea for what it is that you can use of course because we wouldn't be able to use the table if I had everything out all right so let me grab while I'm moving down the table all right we have these little puzzle clocks these wooden puzzle clocks so they work on um, these whenever or you know whoever chooses we also have this I found in a let's see a book that I had picked up at the thrift store some years ago and I just pulled it out because I like the maze and I was using it when for little kids my two-year-old uses this the four-year-old is you know it's a little uh, easy for her but she still likes to use it so I don't mind letting her use this but what I did was we have Lakeshore learning um, animals we have the wild animal and the um, the sea animals and they're they're marketed now as uh counters math counters and so there are multiple um animals in each little thing um each little jar they come in like something like this but they're candy candy store type the kind that kind of sit like that so if you're looking for them i think they're probably like 24 dollars 25 dollars a piece for 140 something but that's what these are so what they do is and i bet you i can't find the monkey but here it is take the <laughs> she <clears throat> is to take the monkey and walk him to his dinner through the maze so simple enough for a two-year-old she's two and a half okay that's her little logic and then on this one the um camel guide the camel the thirsty camel through the desert to the water so simple enough again for a two and a half year old okay and then we have a uh, number train and what i do with her with this is help her build the numbers using the cubes so that she gets familiar she likes to just use them but i would like her to get familiar with actually using them so um in a couple of years she'll be familiar with adding them <clears throat> so that is that and nothing on the other side but it's fun to see because one two three four five you will have a tower and then she pushes them together and she can tell me which one's taller which one's shorter and all that type of thing and you can also group them together by color which makes it color recognition and you know it's one-to-one -one correspondence so a lot just in that one little piece of paper for the older ones logic <coughs> I incorporate mazes we do number mazes so somebody 
did take my frog but I did have the frog out so they would hop the frog this one is counting by fives up to 500 and they can I don't require them to go all the way it's just wherever they can make it um, they progress along but they they um, hop the king down to the to the frog so here we have t-rex and this one is also counting by fives to 500 and then here is the Eskimo and the polar bear and here's the little polar bear so they maneuver, maneuver it so they like the hands on and these were meant to be you know draw the path but we have the manipulatives and it's, it becomes a little more interactive and interesting and fun here's the pony and they go this one is counting by ones up to a hundred so they gallop the horse down all the way around the maze um, and then we have this type of maze the logic so this one is a rhino here's the rhino so they are to guide the rhino through and it really does help them I know he's bigger than the actual maze but it helps them to put the foot on there and guide rather than them having to visually do it because that's how they are they would rather visually do it and then use a pencil or dry erase because they're usually in dry erase I just switch these up or I usually laminate them and these I didn't so um, yeah and then we have koala bear we have Elephant. Share. And then we have the uh, sit for me. Uh oh. The gorilla. I don't know what happened to the gorilla, but we do have gorilla somewhere. Somebody probably just put him back in the um, container. So he's to go through the jungle. And then we have a. What else? Crab. And somebody put the crab back. And my phone's in there. Let me answer this phone.
All right, <laughs> moving along, third time. Color the dice. So they roll the die if it's even, two, four, six. Then they color it blue. If it's odd, they color it purple. So they roll 15 times to see who has more blue or purple colored in. So as you can see, principal things that I do throw in. And then they have a rolling graph. The um, die. Goodness. So roll one die, color the graph, and then the object is to roll 10 times and see how many they get. And so we worked on graphing um, kindergarten, so this should be um, something fairly simple for them if they choose to do this activity. <clears throat> There's another number collage stuck in there. And then for the little ones, we do the read count, trace it, and color it. So they get a little bit of um, this type of number practice in so they can recognize number mainly for the um, two and a half year old so and I have um, numbers up to 50 actually this works and we have one. so we just kind of rotate through them sometimes she will get them in her little work packet for the week so, and then we have color all of the number ones. I use this one for the the um, four-year-old and the two-year-old will sometimes work on them as well. So, and then they circle which one is bigger. So this is, um, we were doing greater than and less than in both of the kids' uh, lessons, kinder and first grade, so this really reinforces the concepts. And then I threw in the paper version if they just want to work on the worksheet, they can do that. Or if two of them want to work it at the same time, they can do that. And then I threw in a subtraction and um, I also have the addition one printed out long form because the other one I showed you was crossways. I, I like them to get familiar with both um, vertical and horizontal positionings of um, the, the math problems. So that is in there and they can work it out with the number line. And... Um, this I don't mind if they write on because I would just add it to their work packet if they choose to write on it. And then I threw in, because who does not like to use white crayons, okay? Great way to use white crayons. Some more logic, tic-tac-toe. All you need is a sheet of construction paper and a white crayon, okay? So you can also do it to do your own mazes. If you don't have a printer, make your own maze. You know, that type of thing. So, all right, I know I'm getting long in this video, but bear with me. Um, all right, we have our scale, which I have shown in a haul. So at some point we do measurements. I let them, it's to, it's on the table. I just leave the stuff on the table and they go for whatever they want to use and they move it to the floor or to the other table or wherever they want to use it, okay? And so we have the weights in here, we have the money in here and um, yeah, I just let them have at it. They, you know, explore, it's free exploration. The baby has her abacus here which everybody does use, but mainly I bought it for her because she likes Sesame Street. And then, um, what else we have over here? Some geo boards. We have tons of, if you have these type of things, they're good to put in math centers. Not, they're not really on, um, we're not focusing on multiplication. This is just one that I have up here so that I wouldn't forget to tell you all about. Throw these in your math center. 
we have our clock here I did um, take the batteries out but it does work and it's in English and Spanish so they manipulate the time um, with with when I work with them with their time sheets um, they use the dry erase I will put a time on here and they will draw it on the dry erase sheet and they also get the time in digital form so that helps as well we have over here in our basket a um, money flashcards so that's what that's about and you can see they've already been playing with them that's why they're kind of out of order but there's that I throw in books that we have related to math and counting it's a balance book so they can explore this book I found this at the thrift store some years back for a dime and um, they it's it, they already do these types of things on their own so like I said I set these things up on the table and they just pick up whatever and it's interesting to see them like this they would do something like this on their own or something like this they do it all on their own things like that balancing the cups leverage I'll let them do that they'll pick up a tray and do the same exact thing so books related to math I have easy readers related to math for the four-year-old and then the dinosaur is just in here and then I have um, these living books which I've shown in a haul back in March I think awesome awesome books for time's sake I am not going to open these books but there they are I also have in here Judy clocks we have more than one there's just one in here right now I also have the telling time flashcards from Target I have I spy books these are great for logic for the baby I throw in whatever books we have related to numbers we have one fish two fish we have all sorts of numbers and this one she's kind of outgrown it but not really this is one of her favorite books so I put it up here to remind myself to share with you all because you may have multiple age levels like I do and this showing it all really helps to figure out I may get questions on okay what do you do with the little one or what do you do with this one so that's why it's so long lengthwise I'm trying to be as complete without doing two videos all right so I also use uh, we have an arsenal of math start books and they come in different levels these are awesome they're quite expensive if you find them cheap in the thrift store eBay Goodwill whatever snatch them because they are cheap they can run 20 22 dollars a book but there's math in them and it is pretty much living so this one is division this one is uh, division fractions and it's, it's, it's simple it's not anything hard okay this one is um, the number lines okay so and then we have one bear loss which we read in a literacy center but it also talks about counting so I left that one for this week and there is also a basket there full of paper they take paper and pencils and write whatever there are some dry erase number sheets in there too all right let me move you to the last table the battery is flashing um, you see crayons on this table all right over here we have cuckoo the clown the rocking clown I found this at Goodwill some years back for a couple bucks and they love this thing and as you can see the front it was brand new but what it is it's a little clown that balances he rocks you have to put these little um, 
uh, juggle the little uh, green, or not green, but colorful uh, balls is what they're called. They're not actually balls, but they're like more like barrels. So they like playing that little game. It's ages three and up, but the two-year-old, there's one, can play. So they like that. So I've also thrown in, and again, they don't have to do all of these activities. I rotate them. So I just pull them out for the video, but they are being added in throughout the whole month. Some of the things they've already done, obviously, because it's been in place for a couple days. But, um, yeah, I just pulled them out so that I would not forget. But we have a count and graph. We have a where they work on fractions so they're working on equality so they're to put if I say circles they're going to put um, you know one a half or whole or you know whatever to make it equal and lots of those little sheets in there and then going back to my old old things I pull out I keep a whole binder full of laminated things like this so they work with the shapes and these as well we have been using these for some years and that's why we have the cubes and I've shared these plenty of places and then we have more logic more logic and we have tons of these I just pulled out a few of them somebody was doing an octopus fishy tail showing the math center and these progress they're easy to hard so as you see this one has a little more cubes over here than this one it they get harder and I did laminate two sides because it saves so and you see they get harder sorry about that glare but better that or darkness um yeah somebody was doing that so we need to clean that and the other mazes and then we have these little things I've also shared on Instagram before um, and they were meant to cut but I don't like everything cut up into little cards they like to work better with them like this and they will just put the mat down and use the, the shapes on the floor and they will build a hexagon using tri six triangles build a trapezoid using three triangles and so forth great great logic they love it um, and then we have these we have a ton of these the uh, more or less so they build them and then they compare which one has more which one has less and they turn it over and so forth and I have a whole binder um, full of these these are just some of the activities or some of the mats that I pulled out so I hope like I said, I know it was long, and I'm checking, double checking. I hope this has been helpful. I know it was a lot to take in. I appreciate your time. I hope you appreciate my time. If you have any more questions, um, feel free to ask. We do have other things. I do include uh, puzzles, dominoes. We have a lot of games, and that's what I was saying. You have, you actually have a lot of things. If you pull out everything that you have, or you make things like I've shown you, you will have a nice selection for a center. It does not have to be this grand. You may only have one child. Okay, I'm dealing with four little ones, so I have to keep everybody occupied. So this is how I do it. Um, and you may want to set them up in different areas and things like that. And just according to skill level. These little things, they love them. They play with them every day. We have a whole set of them. That's why they're not in here and I didn't put them up. But things like this and also these little wooden blocks like this, the colorful ones. We use these as well. Those are things we already have. I throw them in the center, they play with them. And that's it. So you don't have to be really elaborate on things. You don't have to go out and buy things. Start with the things that you have already at home. Things that you can make. Um, pencil and paper. Things like that. And then expand. You know, these things took, like the scale, we just, you know, acquired that. Some of these things we didn't start out with. 
you know, it was something that I had to build up over uh, the course of a couple of years to where we're at this point. So, you know, centers are really helpful. I am going to do a whole another video just in general on centers and how important they are. But I will come back next time either with science or geography. And um, I think math is the largest center just because we have so much. And I, I didn't even realize we had as much until I just started thinking about what can I pull together and put in a math center. So obviously we have to do math centers quite a bit because we have so much. So anyhow, I'm going to get off of here and like I said, talk to me in the comments, subscribe, thumbs up, Facebook, Instagram. See you tomorrow.